Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really helpful automation feature called Auto Select Automation Parameter in Read Mode. You can access this from the Mix menu. Now, I think I did a shorts video on this a while back, but I wanted to jump back into this and demonstrate it again because I did get a comment on this video here. This is my Logic 11.1 .1 What's New video from KM Jake 419 He says, how about adding a show automation button when selecting a certain parameter? I think you can find this feature in almost all other major DAWs. So annoying here. Well, Jake, you are in luck. Logic actually does have this feature. It's just not a button, it's a menu selection, and you can just turn the function on or turn the function off. So let's say that we've pulled up a synthesizer here, uh, really any software instrument. This also works for effects plugins, and I'll show you that in just a bit. When you pull up automation, your default automation parameter is always going to be volume. But let's say, for example, that I wanted to automate the filter cutoff here. So this is cutoff of filter two. Without this feature, you would have to press A to show your automation, go to the automation menu, go down to the ES2, and then go to mix and filter, and then go to filter to cutoff. And sometimes when you don't know what a particular knob or uh, slider is, it can be kind of difficult to find in that menu. But now that I've drawn in some automation for that parameter, we can see that the knob is moving in time with the automation. And so let's go back Let's go back to volume. And what I'm gonna do is go up here to mix and I'm gonna turn on auto select automation parameter in read mode. What this does is it will show you in the track uh, automation menu, whatever parameter you click on. So here's the cutoff for filter two, the resonance for filter two, the FM for filter two, filter one resonance, filter one cutoff, uh, the analog knob, uh, oscillator two waveform. So if I wanted to draw in some automation really quickly, I could do that. I could either use the pencil tool or the pointer tool for this, but I can draw in some automation here for that parameter. Then I can click on another parameter and draw in a completely, uh, you know, separate set of automation. And then maybe I want to draw in some automation here as well. I can do that. And this also works for uh, effects plugins. So let's say I load up a reverb or something. Let's load up chroma verb. And let's say at a certain spot in the song, I want to go from, you know, a low uh, wet amount to a high wet amount, right? I want more reverb at one spot. Well, just by clicking on that parameter, it shows up here as an automation parameter. And then what I can do is I can just draw in that automation just like so. And then what you'll see is all of those automation parameters interpret that automation that I drew in. And so this just makes writing in automation, especially if you do it with your mouse or your trackpad and not with a MIDI controller in real time, this just makes writing in automation a heck of a lot quicker because anything you click on is going to show up there in the automation uh, parameter menu. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And lately, I have been really trying to make it a priority to answer questions that I get in the comments like this in video format. So if you have something in Logic that you're stumped on or you have a tutorial request, please drop a comment or question below and I will consider it. Remember, the Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel is now 100% sponsor free. I am very happy to say that we are now 100% self-funded and viewer funded. So if you would like to directly support the channel, the best way to do this is to purchase one of my courses over at my website, logicproguide.com. I do have a new mixing fundamentals course that will be coming out later this month as well. And if you don't want to buy a course, that's cool too. You'll never get any sales pressure from me liking, subscribing subscribing and sharing the channel is already a huge help. So as always guys, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.